We want to thank God so much for your lives and also to take opportunity to introduce key people who are here this morning. And in fact, the most important people for which we are gathered here are the retirees of this great university, the only professional university in the whole of Africa, in the whole of this world. So we want to welcome you, retirees. Um, I, 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 when we were clapping, I heard the loudest clap coming from here. You can see that the energy is more uh, resided here. So can we do it for all our retirees as we welcome them? Oh, you can do it better. You can do it better. That is to show them love. That is for us to also know that, but for them, we wouldn't have met UPSE as it is now. I remember when I entered here as a student in 2005, um, the place didn't look anything close to what it is. But I tell you, there are people who laid their lives down to save. They are public servants, so they saved. They labored and gave their very best for this university to become this glorious um, university that we all celebrate. We are very grateful to God for your lives and we want you to feel at home. This is your home. You've come back home. So feel relaxed as we go through the program. And at this point, I want us to just go ahead and um, welcome, um, get a work, uh, receive a welcoming um, statement and in terms of the purpose for our gathering and we are privileged to have one lady who deputizes um, the director of um, IWES. I'm very sure, in fact, what I meant by deputizing is that our director of IWES is not here and she is going to stand in her place. She's going to deputize. I don't mean she's her deputy, all right? So she is going to speak on behalf of Dr. Mrs. Mary Esiang and give us the welcoming statement and purpose of this gathering. Mrs. Erica Mamle Osai. Directors here present, um, invited guests, um, friends from the media, um, ladies and gentlemen, Good morning. I have been directed by the director of Institute of Work, Employment and Society, who is on official duty to stand in for her. That is Dr. Mary Nana Isiam. So I stand before you today with much pleasure and a heart full of warmth as we gather here to inaugurate the Association of Retirees of the University of Professional Studies, Pensioners Ghana, Arupsa. For our retired staff members, I extend my heartfelt welcome to every one of you. The stage of retirement represents a momentous transformation in the life, in life transition. It is a time when our hard work and devoted faculty and staff embark on a new adventure filled with pleasure, discovery, and most importantly, well-deserved relaxation. The creation of Arupsa is a testament to our university's commitment to support and nurturing our retirees as they embark on this enlivening phase of their lives. Our university has always been known for fostering an environment of learning, growth, and solidarity. This association is a natural extension of that ethos, aimed at ensuring that our retired staff members continue to feel connected, valued, and cared for. It is a platform where you can reminisce about your days of selfless service, share your wisdom with the younger generation, and explore new horizons of personal and intellectual growth. So our statement of purpose 
that is, the establishment of Arusa, Arupsa, is grounded in a profound understanding of the challenges and opportunities that accompany the process of aging and retirement. The 2022 edition of the World Population Prospects, that's United Nations 2021, predicts that the share of the older population will rapidly increase across all world regions. For instance, in Ghana, the number of older people has increased over seven times since the 1960 census, as espoused by the Ghana um, 2021 Population and Housing Census. Therefore, giving attention to retirees is a prerequisite for economic and social development. So, our association, that is Arupsa, is guided by a clear and noble statement of purpose. Six in all. One, promoting solidarity. So we want our retirees to feel a strong feeling of community and belonging. As you move, and those who have already moved into this new stage of life, the relationships created over your years of service should endure. There will be plenty of opportunities for social interaction, renewing existing acquaintances, and forming new ones thanks to regular meetings, events, and activities. Two, lifelong learning. Learning and personal development continue long after retirement. The organization will host seminars, talks, and panel discussions on many subjects of interest to make sure that learning continues to be a priority in your lives. Three, health and wellness. We are dedicated to fostering our seniors' physical and emotional well-being to support you in keeping up an active and healthy lifestyle. Health awareness programs, sporting activities, and health checkups will be scheduled to fulfill a minimum of health-related quality of life of our retirees. This translates into psychological, social, physical, environmental, and overall quality of health. Four, giving back your extensive knowledge and skills are a priceless resource for both our university and society at large. We urge you to take part in mentorship programs, impart your wisdom to current staff and students, and perform volunteer work, especially UPSA's social responsibility program at Medina. Five, advocacy. So the association will be a steadfast, a steadfast defender of retirees' rights and welfare. We will liaise with university authorities and relevant authorities to address any concerns or issues that may arise during your retirement years. Six, the last, celebrating achievements. We will honor you, your victories, anniversaries, and contributions to the history of our university. The institution will value today we value today was shaped by your commitment and labor. So it is only fitting that we recognize your accomplishment. In conclusion, the Arupsa is not just an association or organization. It is a family, a support system, and a reservoir of shared experiences, Together, we shall embark on this new journey with enthusiasm and determination, cherishing the past and embracing the future to truly live up to the phrase in our university's anthem, Upsa, the star of hope. 
I once again extend my warmest welcome to every one of you, and I look forward to the wonderful journey ahead as we make the Arupsa a beacon of warmth, wisdom, and well-being. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mrs. Erica Mamli Osain. Um, at this point, we want to have Mrs. Abaloko to introduce to us the chairperson for the occasion. After then, after that, we will invite other dignitaries to the table. She is the director of public affairs for the University of Professional Studies. Shall we welcome her? Thank you. So good morning, everyone. My job is very simple, so I'll make it quick. To introduce the person who will chair this morning's function. It is my singular honor to have been given this tax. Our chair this morning is no stranger to this university. He was previously the director of human resources at the University of Health and Allied Sciences and lead consultant of the International Finance Corporation, the World Bank, PS2, performance standards, labor and working conditions at the Temaport expansion projects. Proud to join in you has, our chair was the country lead of human resources at Halliburton, the Houston-based giant and one of the world's largest and most respected companies in the upstream oil and gas sector. He was also the HR project lead for Hadley Burton, West Africa area, which has been expanded to cover African other areas, West, Central, and East Africa area, with overhead responsibility in 29 countries. You can see a chairperson is no being a person. He is a published author of three books and chair policies development and review committee, UHAS. He is a visiting or he was a visiting lecturer at Leeds Beckett University UK, the University of Applied Management in Germany. Kings University College, Wisconsin International University College, the School of Allied Health Sciences, UHAS, the School of Nursing and Midwifery, UHAS, and the School of Basic and Biomedical Sciences, UHAS. Our chair has several international certifications, such as Fair Trade, Tesco, Global Cup, Phil to Fox, SEDEX, and SOX. <clears throat> he was the project lead, IBM Corporate Services Corp, Phase 4 project, and was nominated to serve on the committee that conducted the term evaluation of ECOWAS in 2020. Our chairperson is a fellow chartered professional administrator and a fellow chartered management consultant at FCMC. He studied strategic human resources at Cornell University, ILA School, USA. He holds an MBA, International Business, Paris, France where he received the prestigious award for excellence and a graduate diploma in management from the IPMA London. Our chairperson is a certified international professional manager of IPMA UK and was recognized as a global professional by Holt International Business School. Do I need to say more? He is passionate 
about developing people. I think this is the critical and the reason why we have asked him to chair. And was a patron of the Student Christian Board of Youth Pass. He is a board chair of Old Green Montessori School. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our chair for today, Mr. David W. Ajovi, who is currently the Director of Human Resources at the University of Professional Studies, Accra. Let's welcome him with a warm Um, I think sit first, and then you can take your. Yes. Oh, shall we continue to applaud Mrs. Abaloku? Mr. Chairman, you are welcome. As you catch your breath, um, he climbed the mountain to the podium, so I want him to catch his breath. As he catches his breath, I want to take this opportunity to invite a few people to come and support our chairman on the podium. That comes to see Omoba Bebone Chidon. Yes. So we want to invite Dr. Samuel Bacheson Ofei, Let's applaud them. These are distinguished people. <laughs> Labored so much for this university. We also want to welcome Mrs. Erica Mamli Osai to also take their seats, representing. Dr. Mrs. Isian, the director of IOS. And finally, we want to invite the executive secretary of the Ghana Government Pensioners Association in the person of Mr. Joseph Quist. Come on, let's do it for these are people who have toiled for Mother Ghana and our university. I think it's now appropriate and a good time to hand over the microphone to our chairperson to give us his remarks and to go ahead and... I want us to give a round of applause to all retirees here in the present. And future retirees also. So ladies and gentlemen, distinguished pensioners, esteemed guests, members of the university community, and members of the media, it is with great pleasure and a deep sense of honor that I stand here today as a chairman for the inauguration of UPSA's Retirees Association. It is a momentous occasion that not only marks the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of our retirees, but also celebrates their invaluable contributions to a renowned university. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations once again to all retirees who are joining this esteemed association. Your years of dedication, hard work, and commitment to the university has left indelible mark on the history of UPSA and Ghana as a whole. 
as we gather here, we acknowledge and appreciate the wealth of experience and wisdom that you bring to the table. And many of you, I, I gathered from the speech initially made by my colleague here that you are mentoring the younger ones. The formation of the Investors with Tyrese Association depicts the endurance bond that connects us to, to our past. It is in recognition of the fact that retirement does not mark the end of one's journey with this institution, but rather the transition into a new phase of involvement and the support thereof. Your wealth of experience, knowledge, and insight will continue to be of great value to the university. And I encourage you to remain very active and engaged with the entire academic community. One of the beautiful aspects of academia is, to, is the culture of learning. And this permeates through the entire university community. It is material to know that learning does not stop at retirement. A wise man said that the illiterates of the 21st century are not people who can not read or write, but they are people who are willing to learn or learn and relearn. As retirees, I encourage you, therefore, to consider this space as another opportunity to continue to learn and explore the wealth of knowledge all around you. We appreciate that you have a unique perspective and a set of skills that can inspire the next generation of scholars, researchers, and administrators. Your stories, your experiences, and lessons that were learned throughout your tenure or your entire career here are a rich repository of knowledge that can be shared to many. I therefore implore you to actively participate in the mentorship program of the university, workshops, seminars, to ensure that your wealth of knowledge continues to benefit the entire country, if not the entire world. The Universities with Tyrese Association is just a forum for social interaction. Although it is hoped that you will create lasting friendship here on the platform. It is also a platform for advocacy and positive change. And your collective voice can play a crucial role in shaping the future of UPSA and showing that we remain excellent and innovative. It, it can also serve as a springboard for mental, emotional well-being. As staying socially active and engaged is essential or essential for mental and emotional health in retirement. The association can play a role in community service and volunteerism, where any member may choose to give back to communities, enabling retirees to make positive impact in society and maintain a sense of purpose. All these 
are in consonance with the theme set by the United Nations for the year's World Day for older people, which is celebrated on October the 1st. So today is October the 5th. So we're just about how many days away? Just a few days away. In this year's celebration, the title of the theme was Fulfilling the Promises of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights for Older Persons Across Generations. The United Nations acknowledges the contributions of older people, as the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres puts it, older persons are invaluable sources of knowledge and experience and have much to contribute towards peace, sustainability, and development, and the protection of the planet, in fact, the entire planet. Indeed, older people brought us the internet that we are all very, very enthused about. Which started, the older people also brought about or started the climate change movement. And the older people revolutionized women's rights worldwide. Say yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So in conclusion, I want to express my deep gratitude to every one of you for your unwavering dedication and contribution to our beloved university. Your legacy lives on. And we'll continue to nurture this through continuous learning and research. We want to congratulate you once again on your milestone in achieving all the successes that you've chopped for this university. Thank you for your service. And we look forward to witnessing a positive impact that you continue to make within the academic community. We congratulate you so much for this day and the days forward. I'm sure very soon some of us will be joining you. <laughs> you know, this association is an association that anybody, once you are an employee in the university, you are eventually a member. So let's clap for ourselves once again for making this happen. Thank you once again. So on this note, I, I hereby launch the Association of Retirees of the University of Professional Studies. Congratulations.
so heart soothing. I want to take this opportunity to also introduce a few of the members who are going to form the interim executives of Arusa. As I indicated, our interim chairman is Dr. Samuel Bacheson Faye. We have, oh, let's applaud him. Eddie We also have Dr. Brian Akron, who is going to be our vice interim chair. Fantastic. Anytime I stand to speak English and he's there, I am very careful. <laughs> I am very, very careful. But I'm sure after this program, I'll go back to him and uh, ask if I use the appropriate words. <laughs> he's the language man. Let's give it to him once again. I have been privileged to be almost all the retirees here. I went through their hands. Some as a, t as a teaching assistant or a national service person and a TA support to him. As a son and somebody who helped groom me to become who I am today. Dr. Professor Akofu is also here. And I, I, I am so grateful. So we have Dr. Ofe, we have Dr. Akron, and we also have, as the secretary of the interim um, executives, we have Mr. Lawrence. Sechiyama. Let's give it up to you. And last but not the least, we have somebody who has the power and the grace and the promise to what? Organize people. We have an organizer who can pull people from all over, bring them together. And I told um, one of the precious people here this morning that very soon, at least less than 10 years, I'll be joining them in the association. <laughs> Roughly about eight years' time, I'll be a member of this association. So um, we have Mr. Thomas T. Who, And then also, you know, for such bodies, it is very important to have somebody who will manage the financial issues and allocate resources. So we are blessed to have our um, own mother, Rosemary um, Okine. Rosemary Okine. To be the treasurer of this association. So thank you very much, executive members. I'm very sure before we end this program, we will invite you and then we'll say a congregational prayer for you to um, seek God's strength for you to have all the wisdom to do this work. So without much ado, I am sure our interim chairman is ready to give us an address. Has some strength in me. Yeah, by yeah, like the grace of God. Yeah. Any time we're going to be mortuary as the mock, sometimes there is this big inscription. We were once like you. <laughs> so those of us who are said to have retired, which I know I haven't retired. Or oh, what you know, I still teach here. That shows that I still have something in me. To pour. I don't want to go into the grave with all that I have. One for everything out. So we were once like you. Those of you may be sitting somewhere there. <laughs> you grow like us. And 
come to be like us. Today, for me, is memorable. When I came and I entered through the gate, and I saw these beautiful structures here, with the very beautiful people I have seen here, it tells me that uh, even though I am highly emotional about it, highly emotive about it, today marks a great day in my life. And for me, it is a great day in the life of UPSC. It has never happened. I was here for more than a day. I never saw a thing like this. And even though we will thank you, management, I think I want to say that you've done very well. Perhaps you've taken inspiration that we were once like you, and you will soon join us. So you are doubling your steps to make sure that structures are right. You've done very well. After this, you are going to help us start and make sure that the people coming after us will also sign on their feet. I won't preempt it, but Mr. Director, <laughs> Madam Deputizer, <laughs> you are going to take some message to the management. This thing must not die. It must work. I will start my speech. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, <laughs> all protocols of the I am very delighted to be part of today's function representing the Association of Retirees of UPSC. Cause this groundbreaking. Indeed, the event is very significant in the life of Arusa since it marks the beginning of its formal existence. Arusa started as a WhatsApp group and was created by IWES on 7th April, 2021. Currently, we have a membership on a third platform of over 21 strong people, women and men. The affairs of the group is steered by an interim executive made up, which is this one that I have been um, given to you, presented to you. Um, this man speaking as its interim chairman, Dr. Bram Akron, as the interim vice chairman, 
Mr. Lawrence Obuo Mensa Sejiyama as the interim secretary. Interim organizer, Mr. Thomas T. Interim treasurer, Mrs. Rosemary Okan. The tenure of the interim executive will be determined by members of Arusa at a meeting later that will be held after this inauguration. Mr. Chairman, the importance of such an association cannot be overemphasized. Foremost amongst them is one offering an opportunity to members to interact and share ideas. Two, being there for one another when it is needed. Hey, at this stage, you must be there for one another. And we were wise enough to have started something on our own, loosely, informally, and we were sharing ideas, being there for one another. Today, you are going to formalize everything. And that is what is happening. Three, connecting individual members to those who can support their dreams if need be. Four, updating members on issues pertaining to their interests. And to maintain just a few, it is an, on this note that I entreat members to take keen interest in the affairs of this association, since it is through this that association can grow. And to those of you who are yet to join, be eager to join. Be eager to join and grow it. It is in this way that I wish to share some interesting perspectives on retirement with Arusa members. Fred Rogers once opined and says, often when you think you are at the end of something, you are at the beginning of something else. That is good. Then, what must be also states that I see retirement as just one of these reinventions, another chance to do new things and be another version of myself. Quote. The above perspectives are consistent with the need for retirees to be active, even in retirement, and also get involved in the activities of Arusa. Mr. Chairman, I want to use this opportunity to thank the management of UPS. And I was profoundly for bringing the association into existence formally. With this gesture, it has been amply demonstrated that UPSA 
is keen to establish a strong bond with his retirees. So now I am going to ask of you if you have to. Ladies and gentlemen here, will it be too much for the university to provide an office for the retirees association? Will it be too much? No. They want to help. Is that not it? Yes. This one, is it too big? Yes. At all. Yes. Because you are not expecting me when I come. I should be, I should be standing and be, I don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. uh, to go and, you know, as if uh, we have been out. Yes. We have already paid our dues. Yeah. At least get some, if it's one computer somewhere, put it somewhere, somewhere there. And some seats. When we come, we chat, we think about the investing. You think we you don't think about the investing? So we maybe come here and pray for you. <laughs> so, when we come, we see it, we chat, we go. And you are happy, you are at retirees are strong. Eh? So, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Then, eh, if there are other things, you can add. We, we will, this, this one alone, I think, is at the heart of everything. Uh, we, on our part, as interim executives and the uh, association are very determined to create the necessary building blocks to develop a formidable association. And this task we consider as a charge to keep. We envision an association with a solid foundation that will grow from strength to strength and which everyone will be proud of. Mr. Chairman, I wish for us to end my speech with a quotation from Mahatma Gandhi, who says, of course, you may never know what results may come from your action. But if you do nothing, there will be no result. So we want to do something. Even at this stage, we want to do something. Ladies and gentlemen, we came to meet this university when it was not even a university. And some of us came from some ideas from somewhere. You came to meet others. There's a certain young lady here. They say she has retired. She's sitting here. I came to meet her. She's sitting in the front row here. In the white top. I came to meet her from UDS. I like the S's. <laughs> they do something S's. And they were young ones. Very relative. Today they have also retired. So then they were You will soon retire. What is it that they will remember you for? If nobody is remembering me for any of them, what I know is that on this university, I have my signature everywhere. So you too, let your signature be everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen,
man. Thank you for sharing. So, without much ado, I want to invite the chairperson or the chairman for the University of Ghana Retirees Association. Do we have? Um, okay. Um, if he is not yet here, we want to go straight ahead and invite, I'm just using the order we have on our program. We want to also give the opportunity to the Ghana Government Pensioners Association. I'm very sure we have the National uh, General Secretary. We also have the Executive Secretary also here. Can we applaud them as they give us a solidarity message? Aspiring President Mam. But unfortunately, Akwado was in the United Nations. But but Mama came. And we talked about why we in Ghana as pensioners are neglected. So I gave them a pitora of what they should be doing for us. We need free bus rides. We need free medical attention. A lot of things. The papers captured some, but I wasn't happy they didn't capture all. In Sweden, Belgium, and UK, the senior citizens are respected. So I told them I don't like the title older person. I like the title senior. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, permit me to say that. When you greeted me this morning, I told myself, he is my son. I have six children, five girls, one son. That is the image. Just like this man. I'm going to tell him to learn hard and become like him. <laughs> right now, he's a hospital administrator. But he hasn't been. So he's got a lot of laurels. <laughs> Thank you. I said, Mr. Chairman, David Adobe. And his high table team. Fellow retirees. Yes, you are my fellows. Aspiring retirees. The Inky Fraternity. Are they in? The Inky Fraternity. Are they there? Yeah. Let us come to the paper school. Let us come. We grow by those things. This is a message of love and welcome being delivered on behalf of the Ghana Government Pensioners Association, GGPA for short, or Captete Pensioners. Captete Pensioners. By the National Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of the Association, Joe Quiz. That's the name. The GGPA warmly welcomes Harusa into the retiree fraternity. You are similarly welcome into the next level of living after active service. You could see me looking at doctor. I'm talking to him. Please note that you are retired, Harid, but not retarded. So I told the incoming president that when he comes, he should make sure that when we go on retirement, he should call us as consultants. We have everything in our heads. And as the doctor said, he doesn't want to go to the grave with all this knowledge. The GGPA is happy to know that it is a natural phenomenon for all those who labor to enjoy the fruits of their labors. And for that matter, the need to form a united front 
such as Harusa. Help me to say, hooray! hooray. I hope the Harusa will make sure that its members will not be shortchanged or cheated in any way in their next level of living after completing a successful active working life. Arusa, I believe, will grow from strength to strength. Let me explain this point. Some people think when you go on retirement, then you are retarded. So people at the level where they work salaries, they play tricks to cheat. That's why I use the word here, shortchange or cheated. But I know UPSA will not do that. It is the government which does that. So some of us, when we go to take our retirement allowance, you see that the, oh, the figure has changed. I'll tell you something. In Ghana, some retirees are receiving as low as 40 Ghana cities a month. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Yes, yes. I traveled to the north and they gave me notes to read through. And some are so suffering. You know, we didn't retire to come and suffer. We retired to come and enjoy. That's why those in Australia, UK, and so when they retire, they come to visit the animals in Africa. Yeah, they believe we are black and we live in trees like monkeys. So anytime they come on retirement, they want to travel in. A lot of money has been given to them, so they travel to come. It's a pity, it's a pity, it's a pity. Today's function is similar to an outdooring of a newborn baby, where attendants feel free, happy, make merry, wine and dine, and dance, because we are all overwhelmed with happiness. So, in conclusion, please help me to say hip, 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 hooray to this August inaugural occasion. Thank you for your Citizens, yeah. We are senior citizens. We need respect. Thank you very much, Mr. Quist, for doing us the honor. We also want to hear from the National Pensioners Association from SNIT. We have a rep here who wants to do us the honors. Let's welcome you. I'm very sure you are getting yourselves ready with one beautiful edition of some papers. Mr. Chairman, <laughs> uh, from uh, Cap 13, I have beaten you. I have seven strong men and one girl. So <laughs> <laughs> I beg you, I agree. I'm second. <laughs> I'm that's good, that's good, that's good. Fine, fine. Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, fellow old boys and girls, all protocols duly observed, I bring you warm felicitation and goodwill from the national executives and the entire 750,000 members of the National Pensioners Association, SNIT, scattered all over the country on this memorable occasion of the inauguration of the Association of Retirees of the University of Professional Studies, Arupsa. I love that name, Arupsa. Uh, it's very great. We are always highly enthused whenever a new association of pensioners is formed in the country. The sages say there is strength in unity and that one head cannot constitute a council. Your various backgrounds as professionals, either in the public or civil service, constitute a knowledgeable force for this association, which we can fall on when the need arises for consultation. 
We have regional, district, and local branches all over the country. Our main objective is to bring pensioners under the SNIT together, seek our welfare, our common challenges, and as an aging group, make support available to our members, especially health issues. Our flagship program, the Pensioners Medical Scheme, which has been instituted, takes care of members who are suffering from cervical and breast cancers, prostate and all its related issues, hernia, reading glasses, and are about to add more to our benefit package by the end of the year. Retiring and becoming a senior citizen is very challenging, especially in our part of the world, where the extended family system is dominant. Family, com family communal, and societal issues are going to be a bother to you. Formally, you could excuse yourself from, from such issues with your work and other engage engagements. What about now? We can cheat on all things, but not nature. Some of you might feel very strong and healthy and also very vibrant as you retire, but the truth is that you may not remain the same for much longer. Nature will take its toll. Our advice is that do things in moderation. Do health checks regularly rather than to be taken on our ways. We also entreat you as individuals to be your brother's keeper, meet regularly as much as possible, inquire about each other and establish very good relationship among yourselves, share in the joys and griefs of each other, and God will also take care of you. Let love be the center of your dealings and avoid unnecessary bickerings. Finally, we at the National Secretariat wish to assure you that we are going to do our best to see you grow into a fully-fledged aged association. Let us know any challenges you may face at these initial stages, and we will not deny you. We are solidly behind you and wish you all the best in your endeavors. Long live UPS, long live Arupsa. God bless you. People retire at 60, is that not so? Yeah. But just to emphasize some of the important messages that I got here, that retirees are retired, but they are retired. In Ghana, you may retire at 60, but at 70 or even 80, you could become a president. Congratulations. Thank you. In the United States of America, it is repeated. And in many other countries, the elderly people take over the leadership mantle. The senior citizens really are senior citizens. I have learned something about knowledge. And I understand that knowledge is classified into two. We have passive knowledge and we have explicit knowledge. Some of the senior citizens would have written books and would have still been reading those books. It's classified as what? Explicit knowledge. But they are right here with us. How fortunate are we? We have the opportunity to interact with them to tap this knowledge in passive form. In fact, there is no better advice to have from somebody on the tone and the language. These are two different things. When you read it in the books, you don't get the tone. You may get the language, but when you hear it from the old lady or the old man, or the senior citizen, you will get the tone. The lower the tone or the higher the tone indicates an action plan. 
We are privileged to have you here. Those of you who have made it. I know a lot more would have wished to be here. But old age comes with all sort of challenges. So even for those who are not here, and those who are not yet members in the, on the platform, please encourage them. I took one more lesson from my honorable chairman here. He says, we must be deliberate about it. Being deliberate gives you the opportunity to share ideas on your health issues, on your money issues. Ghana was not the same as it was when you were younger. How do you manage at this level, at this stage? Thank you so much. So, I will end my closing remarks by saying that the end of a thing is better than the beginning. But we are not ended yet. We have begun and we are continuing. Thank you so much for the opportunity and congratulations to all of us.